Hey guys, Tom Camp from Digital Recording School. So to continue from last video, I showed you how to uh, quantize your guitars really quick. Um, just using a what, Beat Detective and a clean DI guitar. Well, now I have a bunch of guitars and I need to be able to work fast. So here's what I'm going to do. I took, I'm going to take all these guitars. I'm going to show you how you can do this really, really quick. So Beat Detective, go to Clip Separation, Capture Selection, Analyze. And then you can use your keys, your um, P and semicolon keys, to go up and down on, on a track. So right now I hit semicolon, go down, capture selection, analyze, separate. Oh, go back up here, capture selection, analyze, separate, down to the next one, capture selection, analyze, separate, capture selection, Again, analyze, separate, capture selection, uh, analyze, and separate. So now they're all separated. So now what I need to do is I need to quantize them. So I'm going to hit Alt-0 or Option-0, 16th note. It's on audio clips, and I'm just going to go apply, down to the next one, apply, down to the next one, apply, apply, apply. I'm going to go back up and I'm going to go to edit smoothing because now we need to fill the gaps and crossfade it. So I'm going to hit smooth, so we call it down, smooth, 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 and I'm done. So now what I would do is I would listen to each one of these probably um, in solo uh, and, you know, all together with everything and make sure that everything is working the way it should. So let's bring everything in. Let's take a listen to this verse. It's awesome because before we were stacking, you know, I think how many guitars are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's seven guitars that the client sent with DI. Well, with those chugs, because that's what he was kind of using to keep his rhythm, you know. Da -da 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 so by doing that, he's using that to keep his rhythm. They're not all in perfect time. So when I started stacking seven guitars on top of um, each other, those chugs were really just like each one's a little bit loosely off time so by getting them perfect on the grid now it sounds cohesive it sounds like one instrument and now i can start um putting some stuff to these guitars and actually making them kind of stand out so in the next video i'm going to show you how to take this di guitar sound and make it sound a lot better so uh, i'll see you there